<coughs> Tally ho, internet, and welcome back to FNAF World! Now, the moment I stopped recording the previous part, I went up, and lo and behold, there is a big old gate that I can't pass through. So, I'm going in some sort of correct direction. Uh, now, there is a map, it does tell me some stuff, but not a lot. That took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting uh I wasn't expecting anything to happen just then, actually. Yeah, that's right, you get out of my face, peeps. Uh, okay, so I should be able to go north. One would hope. Again? No, can I go past it? I wanna go No! I was very much hoping that, like, that would be the end of it. I wouldn't have to fight it again, but it looks like they do come back afterwards. Uh... Although I'm doing pretty well at the moment. Just time consuming. This is really quite intense because you've got to look out for the prompts to press the buttons, so. It's very, very fast paced. Which I think is what I was actually trying to say last time. Is that I actually quite like how fast paced this game is. Keeping you on your toes the whole time. And hopefully that is the last we see of that stupid chipper. That's not the last. Okay, so let's go around again. Hopefully I'm going somewhere. Going it? No, for fuck's sake. No, okay. Ugh. What do I do? Where do I go? Is it literally just that cave? I think the frequency of um, of random encounters was also a big uh, a big complaint. Now, see, this is the thing: the game itself had an approval rating on Steam of around about I think it was 84, 87 percent, something like that. But clearly, that wasn't good enough, which is why it's been removed. So, it's a seriously awesome thing that Scott has decided to do with his game. It's basically unprecedented. Because most other developers and publishers and stuff would just be like, oh, it's fine. It's cool. I mean, what's that? You, c you keep clipping through the game world and... And a bug killed your mum? In actual real life? It's okay. It's deemed non-vital. It's not game-breaking. Fair play. Thank you very much, Activision. As you can probably tell, not endorsed by Activision. Just felt I had to say that. Gotta use my heart cheese. I can't tell if that little bite is actually helping at all. There's no way for me to actually try and um, figure out if it is making much of a difference. I'd like to say that it feels like it is, but... Placebo. Where am I going now? What do I do? Right. It would be great if people could just stop assaulting me, so I can just leave, you know? Seriously, this music... Catchy as hell. It has no business being this catchy. I mean, before I started recording, I ha actually had the, um... 
like the main theme stuck in my head. Is that the bite that's continuously healing me? I hope it is. Because it's quite cute. I would like a little bit of progress to happen because we have got to be down in England for four days. Which means I'm not going to have much chance to edit or just do much of anything. What the hell are they? Gold mine. Seriously, these guys are packing one hell of a punch. But it's okay because I'm going to stay on top of things now. They're not getting me. Although they are still hitting me really hard. I guess party favours damages them and heals me at the same time. One can hope. Well, I actually just heard the music loop. This fight's been going on so long already. I'm doing way better this time than I did last time, though. This is crazy how hard this fight seems to be. When you kind of consider the fast-paced nature of, like, sort of the rest of the fights. If this is that bite helping me out, oh my god. It's not even like I can claim this is a boss fight. Like, this is a random encounter. 50 tokens. But no experience, for whatever reason. I feel like that's a little bit harsh. But judgment has been passed. Nope, nothing here. Okay, quarry. They seem just as much of a pain as the other guys did. I don't know why I just used hook. That was a complete wasted attack. down Does 
the attack hot cheese actually depend on where Foxy is in the party? Because that's what it's seeming like. It seems to only ever attack like the bottom half. I'm loving the uh, the uh, the idol animation of Quarry there. Like, ugh. friggin' love it. Oh shit! Who now? Oh, Phantom Mangle. That's okay. I can take you on. As long as you promise not to hurt me too much. Although Phantom Mangle seems to have one nasty punch. Which will obviously really help me later on. Again, doesn't do anything. Why? Actually be helpful. I should have used birthday. No! Right. Regen song and then birthday. Keep my stats up. I think it might actually be better if I just keep birthday up as often as I can. Because it definitely seems to be the best option. Especially with my health tanking like that. Oh, snap. This is a hard battle. Surprisingly so. But again, we need health bars. I can see my health bars, but I've no idea how well I'm doing. Yeah, that bite is really helping keeping my health up, so I'm very glad that I got it. Despite not even knowing what it was. Yay! I'm so clever! And we have Phantom Mangle on the team now. Not that it really means much. I have, I have no friggin' clue what I'm doing. I have no friggin' clue where I'm going. I have no friggin' clue why I'm here. I'm having fun anyway. Kind of. Apart from the whole not knowing what I'm doing thing. But I mean, that's just fun in its own, isn't it? Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave me some likes. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think of FNAF World. <clears throat> Let me know what you think of FNAF World down in the comments. And until next time, tally hey.